Have you ever had a dessert that intentionally numbs your tongue? That's not the only thing special about Fiji Airways. Hello my dear ones to a very different flight report today and that's Fiji Airways business class from Fiji to Singapore. This is the evening before the flight and this is how beautiful an airport hotel can get. The name Fiji alone lets everyone dream of the exotic South Seas and the national airline is just as exotic as the name Fiji Airways. With only 12 aircraft they have now made it into the top 20 airlines in the world on Skytrax. Not everything is as ideal as one would like to think. What is well behind the competition and what still makes the flight outstanding, we'll find out in the next 20 minutes with lots of wanderlust. But in a few moments, the shuttle will pick me up to the airport and we're gonna go from Nadi here on Fiji to Singapore. We're gonna check out what Fiji Airways business class is like on short and especially long haul. So come with me from Fiji to Singapore. Like so often, I flew from A to B via C just to experience something new. And here my trip from New Zealand to Singapore went through Fiji instead of non-stop. Just the anticipation of a short stop in the South Seas was worth the extra tour. Between the two flights there was warm sea breezes and palm trees and memories until the end of life. But now let's start with the flight report at Nadi Airport in Fiji. A surprisingly beautiful lounge awaits you at the small airport of Nadi. It has no windows but its green wall is pleasing to the eye and business class passengers of the small airline are offered a pleasant, sufficiently spacious lounge. There are big screens, a pretty good buffet where you can freshly make your own juice and a bar with all the typical alcoholic beverages. And here we are on the Airbus A330 of Fiji Airways that will fly us to Singapore from Nadi International Airport in about 10 hours. This plane is 9 years old and altogether Fiji Airways has 6 wide body planes and 6 narrow body planes. That's uh, actually 6 Boeing 737s and 4 Airbus A330 and 2 Airbus A350. Um, in the Airbus A330 you find this older business class still, but it looks actually quite beautiful for such an old one. And the new business class you find on the Airbus A350 and that goes um, at the moment to Los Angeles and also sometimes to Sydney. <laughs> Well, first of all, I'm of course very happy that I'm on such an exotic airline as Fiji Airways. However, I have to be fair and honest, and this is not an up-to-date cabin. It's very beautiful, but it's nine years old, as old as the plane, and also nine years ago. This was not completely up-to-date. You don't have seats that recline fully to a flat bed but maybe to a 165 degree angle, I would say, so uh, you never will uh, lie really flat. Still, um, on a day flight like this one, it's quite okay. If you fly overnight, it's not such a great thing maybe, because they're also not so wide at the shoulders, even though there's like some more space for the shoulders, it's still not very wide, um, and you don't lie flat, as I said. However, if you have problems with reflux, it can be good, because then you don't get the reflux up to your throat. So much about that. Um, still, it's very beautifully done. I mean, this looks very elegant and tasteful. The white, cream white leather or faux leather um, seats, and then they have also a little mattress when you want to lie down. Then they have these beautiful pillows and a um, um, cover later on. So that's all very nice. So that is really the best of this rather old cabin. <laughs> Thank you. 
On the way to the pain I got a little weak walking by the duty free shop and that really rarely happens but I saw this very nice Fijian shirt and that's mine now and I exchanged the other flower shirt for this one now. Anyway, um, upon boarding I got welcomed with a welcome drink. There was a selection of champagne or orange juice. I chose the orange juice this time. Then they had an amenity kit which looks quite nice and they also have slippers here on board and that's not very often the case on or not so often the case on business class flights and what else there's noise cancelling headsets however i still have to try them on my short haul flight from auckland over here to nadi they didn't work i mean the whole system didn't work so i don't know if they really are very good but we'll check that out later however on that short haul flight from auckland to Singa uh, to nadi i was already quite surprised about their really good service on board so that was quite a good surprise anyway i will talk about that a little later during our flight <laughs> Just a few words about the route because that's as exotic as already the name Fiji Airways sounds. From here to Singapore we're passing by all the Indonesian islands. I mean not all of them of course because there are a couple thousands but some beautiful ones. From here to Papua New Guinea we will also pass by some really beautiful smaller islands. Then we pass by the coast of Papua New Guinea and then all the islands between there and Sulawesi and uh, Borneo before landing in Singapore and I'm really looking forward and I really hope that it shows the right side over here the right window side just to see all those islands <music> Yesterday I was already on a two and a half hour flight from Auckland to Nadi and on that flight catering was already quite good, quite impressive with quite large portions and three different meals to choose from. So I'm really curious now about the long haul flight here. Now on the long haul flight we have lunch and dinner and for both we have a selection of three different options. It's chicken, beef or a vegetarian option. Both at dinner and at lunch of course different meals each time and then there's um, now for lunch an appetizer that's salad niçoise a, in a vegetarian or actually a vegan uh, version of it and then we have ice cream or a fruit bowl as a dessert same goes for dinner an appetizer it's a soup or a salmon then three different main courses to choose from and uh, a parfait ice cream or again fruit so that sounds quite good actually And with a big thank you I say cheers, I'm just so taken aback that I'm sitting here with a glass of a French beverage looking out to the South Sea more or less and making a video in English 
for you guys. I'm so grateful and um, I try to do the best possible reports, as good as possible, as complete as possible and as fair as possible. So thank you for watching and a really grateful cheers. If you like this report and the well over a hundred flight and travel reports on my both channels then please give me a thumbs up, comment on the video and above all subscribe to the channel with the little bell next to it. You make my day, you really help the channel to grow and become more visible. Keep looking around Travel Sing Fly, maybe you haven't seen the report yet that's best for you on here. It's great to have you on board. Now to a highlight on business class flights, the amenity kit. The Fiji Airways business class amenity kit is made from cloth with an especially beautiful Fijian pattern and it contains disinfectant gel, hand balm, a pen, toothbrush, earplugs, sleeping mask in the same beautiful Fijian pattern as the bag and socks. No exclusive contents, but it's a beautiful, memorable bag that I will continue to use. Well, the chicken is actually like deep fried chicken and with it can come these snake beans and some roasted pumpkin and mashed potatoes. But what is really, really nice is a very fruity, lemony tomato sauce that makes it all really very special. And then we have these dehydrated sweet potatoes as a um, garnish. Very nice. And I'm having the chance to try the other main course too, and that's a teriyaki beef kebab. So that's um, actually um, a skewer with beef, and then comes also pineapple with it, not Turkish at all. And um, then we have some pumpkin chutney and some chili tzatziki, and that's such a mix of uh, styles of cooking, but somehow that's not so bad. It's quite, quite funny and quite nice actually, and maybe that's also part of Fijian cuisine. They just mix things in a new way. Quite nice. <laughs> And here we are with a food premiere for me and that's uh, kava, that's a Fijian dessert and um, it's cooled down like a parfait, like ice cream and part of it is that it makes your mouth a little numb. So I'm really curious and a little scared also. Wow, that tastes amazing. It tastes a bit of bitter um, cocoa but also coffee also vanilla also coconut and it makes my mouth a little numb to be honest so special wow ah. and with it they have some preserved dried fruits that go with this very special cream like this what they call mango skin and it's so special, salty shower with this special cream, really delicious and so unusual and so good.
Fiji Airways Entertainment System includes a respectable selection of films and series which is about on par with European airlines. But what I liked the most were the emotional little documentaries about the traditional patterns for Fiji Airways in the aircraft livery and also in the cabin and on the uniforms, all developed by a traditional artists from Fiji. hours until arrival in Singapore and dinner just started here with the first course and um, in the pause in between uh, the um, uh, lunch and dinner I rested a little here on this seat I mean it's really an old business class seat so it's not like flat and it's also you cannot talk about leg room because there is no leg room it's just quite tight around the feet but it's okay for resting this seat is clearly since it's not a life let's see it's clearly only good for reflux patients not for the regular customer if you fly through the night and have an important appointment on the next day maybe it's not the best thing to do to sit here uh, otherwise for a day flight it's just fine the crew however has been really wonderful up till now on this flight really very welcoming very attentive very friendly when you press uh, the button to ask for something they're there within 20 seconds for sure and you get what you want right away you don't have to wait for it they're super friendly and you see it's not um, friendly because there's a guidebook but because they're just friendly so that's really nice anyway I'm really a little hungry now again <laughs> and let's start dinner the soup was really good. There was a rosa tomato and crown pumpkin soup and it was so tasty. I just um, ate it a little too fast because <laughs> it was a little cold already because I talked too much before. Anyway, it was really good and now I'm looking forward to the main course and that's going to be a smoked and grilled beef sirloin with Lyonnaise potatoes. So. Well, the beef is actually pretty good. It's quite special because it's smoked and grilled. And um, so the first smoked it and then grilled it. And with it, we have some like Lyonnaise potatoes and um, this mushroom cream sauce is also quite nice. And um, I mean, you don't have anything talking about uh, medium or medium rare or something like that because it's not a steak like that. It's not a steak, so to speak. It's just grilled beef and um, for that it's really very nice and tasty and something else something special i would say good before landing a few words about how to book this flight as a reward flight with miles. Um, Fiji Airways is not uh, exactly part of the One World Alliance but it's a partner airline of the One World Alliance and you can book this flight uh, for example with Cassie Pacific's Asia Miles program. A flight from New Zealand or Australia via Fiji to Singapore costs 70,000 miles and with that come some fees but it's almost no fees at all they're very very low so um, the flight from New Zealand via Fiji to Singapore is altogether almost 14 hours long and that for 70,000 miles that's quite a good uh, value and almost no fees
So it's 20 minutes until arrival in Singapore and we're just crossing through the clouds, the thick monsoon clouds here in Southeast Asia. Now what can we say about Fiji Airways Business Class? I would say the big plus here is the cabin crew. They're just wonderful. They treated everybody so nicely, not just me, but everybody on the plane. For example, he has a physically challenged person on board and they were so wonderful to this person. They asked him all the time if he needs something else, if they can help him. They assisted him to go to the uh, laboratories and so on. So it was really very nice to see, very friendly, very genuine. Um, the food was also very good, very nicely presented. The quality was good, but there was also especially some unique Fijian um, dishes that were a premiere for me, so that was really nice. Um, the downside here is of course the seat. It's an old business class seat. You don't have um, leg room, you don't have a life flight seat. So if you want to go on an overnight trip with an important appointment the next day, that's maybe not so fantastic. On a day flight like this one, we just want to rest, it's just okay, I would say. Altogether. Of course you have to know once you have the Airbus A350, it's another story because they have a new business class product, they have a one-to-one -one reverse ferry bonus seat configuration and then it's an internationally competitive seat of course. And then this airline is really fully recommended. Uh, for me it was a very nice thing to find Fiji Airways is such an exotic airline from a European uh, point of view. Of course if you live in Samoa it might be not very exotic but for me it really is. It was a really pleasure. So my dear ones, we have arrived in Singapore. I hope you really enjoyed this report about the Fiji Airways business class on the Airbus A330 and if yes, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications. There's really great more airline reports waiting for you from economy class, low cost, business class and also first class as well as destination reports from all continents. So stay tuned and see you again very soon here at Travel Sing Fly.